Hey everyone, T Navy Drone here, and today we're getting a lot of questions about how to bind your FR Sky compatible B Brain with the Tyrannus. So, as you can see there, that's the bind button. So, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new model here on the Tyrannus. So, the first step here is to go ahead and click on Menu, and then you're going to go down to an empty slot on there, and you're going to go ahead and hold down on Enter, and then you'll see Create Model pops up, and you're going to push Enter. And it's going to load the model and then you're going to use the um, negative or down button there to qu click on the actual quadcopter symbol and you push enter and then what you're going to do here is you're going to push page once twice three times four times and then it's going to go say ready to go and you're going to click enter one once and then one more time and then you're going to see a brand new model that's been added there so to get to that new model now you're going to go ahead and um, push down and hit page and then we're going to hit page a few more times till we get to page 7, I believe it is. Actually, page 6 here for the mixer tab. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down to channel 5 and push enter. And now you can choose whatever uh, source you want here. So you're going to go ahead and use the down button to get down to that. And you're, you're going to go ahead and, and choose whatever source. We're going to go ahead and choose actually let's choose um, SA that's the one that Jesse chose in his video too to make sure we have the same videos here so we'll use this button right here and then you're gonna go ahead and click enter once you choose that and that will be the switch you're gonna use for arming and everything and then we're gonna go ahead and click on exit and you exit one more time and you can add a model name to this if you'd like to as well but for now we're just gonna leave it set to model 10 um, but if you wanted to change the model name you just go to, to the page 2 right there and you would just go ahead and click right there in that blank spot and you just put in whatever name you want here. So we're gonna X out of here. And now we're gonna go to actually binding the Tyrannus. So you're gonna go to page two here and you're gonna scroll down. Uh, or you can scroll up to get there a little faster. And then you're gonna make sure that you have it set to um, D8. So you're gonna change this. So you can push enter and go D8, push enter one more time. And then you're gonna go down to the bind area and you're gonna go ahead and push enter there in one second. But the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab the USB cable in the USB about a quarter of the way here. And then you're gonna grab a screwdriver, some kind of tool, and you're gonna go ahead and just push down that bind button right there. And you're gonna push in the USB. So you can see there's power now. And once you push it in, uh, you're gonna let go of the bind button. And now you're gonna go ahead and push enter on the radio and it'll start to chirp. And then once it chirps about three or four times, you're gonna go ahead and push exit twice and get back to the main screen there. And then you're gonna unplug the USB. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB here. And you'll see it actually show up on your screen so we can check to make sure that the Tyrannus has been bound correctly. And we're gonna go into the receivers tab. And now when you move the sticks on the radio here, you'll see that it actually We'll move all the different settings in Betaflight as well. So what we're gonna do now is that each of the actual center points are a little off right now. So you can see the first one is 15, 12, you're gonna 15, 13. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this bottom right uh, adjustable knob here and go down a little bit. Cause you're gonna try to get this right at 1500. Now we're gonna do the same thing for pitch as well. Cause you can see pitch when you go up and down, it's a little off. So we need to take that one down as well. So you're just gonna go ahead and take this switch and go down a few times until you get this right at 1500 or as close as possible. And then you can see that the yaw also is a bit high. So we're gonna do the same thing for yaw. You're just gonna go to the left with that button right there and bring it all the way down to 1500. And now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and go into modes. And we're gonna set up all the different modes you need to actually go ahead and arm the quad. So as you remember, we set the actual um, top button here, which is SA to be um, the mode directory. So we're gonna go ahead and change this so that way arm is all the way from about 1200 up. So take that air mode and then we're gonna add angle as well. Or horizon, whichever one you prefer. And then as you change this down, it'll arm and then go to air mode as well too. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. 
and you can mess around with this and get this kind of however you'd like to have it all dialed in and then that's all you really need to do so we're gonna go ahead and save all this unplug everything and throw a lipo on here and you should be good to go so you see the quads here so you're gonna take the switch now and you're gonna go down to arm it and you go down all the way it'll go to air mode um, so take off so we're good to go all right